Hi guys, this is Kim again, and I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. I'm having a great day so far. The sun is shining, and I hope the sun is shining where you are. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys today. Um, I really wanted to get back to the trust series. I know I've been doing some other things, but um, I want to get back to that today. And the first thing that I wanted to say to you guys, there is a supreme destiny and calling on your life. And when we're not in the right mind, we can't see or hear it. And what that does, that makes for a lot of bad decisions in our lives. So what we need to do is work on making sure everything is cleaned out so that we can hear exactly what our calling and our destiny is. And the first thing that I wanted to go over, um, it's really the last thing that we kind of talked about, and that is making sure that you know exactly where the distrust started. Um, you have to figure that out. You have to assess it. You have to uh, determine what exactly caused all of the pain and the anger. Um, you have to, to find out where that, where that came from so that you can work on it. And that's what I said in um, one of my other videos. You have to, you know, find out where that is so that you can, you know, start working on getting that out of your life. The next thing that I want to uh, talk about is how you need to assess the act the things that uh, contributed to your distrust. You have to assess it. You have to look at it. You have to feel the pain. I know a lot of times um, we go through life and we're stuffing a lot of things because we don't want to feel the pain of the things that have happened to us. But in order for you to work on it, you have to feel it. So don't stuff it. The next thing that um, you need to do is get a pen and a piece of paper and just write down a list, make a list of the things that happened to you that contributed to your distrust. Um, if it has to do with relationships, write all of that stuff down and that will make it clear to you whether you want to keep those relationships in your life because if you determine that you want to keep those relationships in your life, um, you have to get rid of the, the distrust um, you know, from the people who uh, contributed to the distrust. If you're going to trust them, if you decide that you're going to trust them, you have to work on getting rid of the distrust because you're not going to be able to have a healthy relationship with the people that contributed to your distrust. The next thing that I wanted to talk about is when you make a choice, that this is what you're going to do. You're not going to distrust anymore. You have to stick with that. You have to decide that um, you're not going to dwell in the pain and the anger because a lot of times that's what we do. We waver back and forth through, through the pain and the anger. Um, if you decide that I'm going to trust um, you know, when things come up, and I, I, I guess you have, we have, I, I know we have times where, um, you know, things feel familiar when it comes to the distrust that you've had. You have to determine that you're not going to go back to that place of distrust when you're feeling that. So you have to make a choice, stick with it, and Determine that you're not going to dwell in the pain and the anger. And you have to, uh, you know, trust the people that are around you. If you decide to, you know, that you're, you're going to, uh, you know, trust the person that, you know, contributed to the distrust, you have to say, okay, I'm not going to distrust them anymore. Um, also, the last thing that I want to talk about after you've done all of the assessment, you found out where the distrust has, has come from, um, you've made a choice about how you're going to, uh, you know, trust people now, um, you have to start letting the healing, you have to start the healing process. You have to start letting that happen. You have to, uh, you know, take yourself out of the attachment. You have to detach from the pain and the anger. You have to say, okay, this is what I'm going to do. And 
I'm going to be open to, you know, letting the healing happen when it comes to my distrust. So that's what you have to do. You have to let all of the stuff go. And I know it's not easy to do that. But these are the things that we're going to do if we're going to get all of that, that stuff out of our lives. That's all I wanted to talk to you guys about today. Um, you know, I really want you guys to get this because this is very, very important. Um, it's very important for you to be happy. It's very important for you to um, be able to pursue your purpose in life. All of that um, stems on you getting a lot of this junk out of your life. So you have to work on that. All right, guys, um, again, that's all I have for today. Always, always love yourself. Um, I love you so much. I really want you to be happy. Thank you so much for supporting me, the people who are doing that. And um, um, have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you guys on the other side. Thank you so much. Bye.